Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you are doing well. So today's video I will be doing the New Year's tag. Many of us will be participating in this, some have um, decided to do it for their Masked Monday, some are like me doing it for midnight when it does turn to New Year's. Obviously with the different time zones the videos will be staggered but I will try my best to link them all down below for you to check them out. Please do go support their channels, they are lovely ladies and um, it's great seeing all our channels grow together. So the first one is three words to describe 2020. <sighs> Difficult, disappointing, and life-changing. Maybe that's four words. <laughs> Most played a song in 2020. Oh. Um, probably Scott McKenzie, San Francisco. I do play it on repeat quite a lot, but um, I've also been really into Youngblood, um, Original Me. I love that song. Favourite TV series of 2020? Okay, so I have two. So the first one was really good and that I watched with my dad and that was Lincoln Rhyme, The Hunt for the Bone Collector. If you're like me and love Sherlock Holmes and detection and puzzle solving, you will love it. It is an American series but they have done it so well and every episode you are gripped. Me and my dad had many a nights where we would like binge watched them because <laughs> we were like we need to know what happens next. And then the next series I watched with my family and that is All Creatures Great and Small it is based on the James Herriot books um, about a vet in Yorkshire and that was really lovely to watch. Um, so favourite YouTubers of 2020? Um, I love the Miss Ali Cakes and Kayla Varney, they have two amazing channels. Um, they are both new mums. Um, Kayla Varney is um, vegan and a lot of her videos are like sustainable living and her journey through that and it's just so lovely to see her doing that with her family. And then the Miss Ellie Cakes loves Disney and arts and crafts and is very homey and does a lot of baking and I can relate to that. I live in a family where we love all that sort of thing and um, with Kilavani, like I'm trying to be more sustainable and eco-friendly so I get so many great ideas from her and they're just two lovely ladies and I love their channels. So <clears throat> best advice you received in 2020? Just take each day as it comes, you know, don't worry about next week, don't worry about next month, just take each day as it comes. And that is something I've had to learn <laughs> because, you know, I would be worrying about what's happening in months in advance normally when things were back to normal and then obviously this pandemic and other personal stuff happened and I had no control over anything. And you know for a while that really affected me you know I'm used to having control I'm used to organizing things and then not having that it took me a while to adjust so my mum was like just take each day as it comes because that's the only thing you can control and yeah that really helped um, and an achievement you're proud of in 2020 <sighs> The only thing that I can think of is getting my distinction in the hieroglyphs course, um, that really gave me a boost. I was so happy, um, you know, whilst learning about that ancient writing and, you know, it was intriguing and then to see that I, you know, not only did I pass but I got a distinction and that like reflected on how much I enjoyed doing it and, you know, probably doing the videos helped as well because I was able to keep, you know, the memory of things that I was learning better and yeah quite happy with that a bad habit I will break in 2021 um maybe not like keep going to Tesco's and spending my money there <laughs> I go to Tesco's like three four times a week 
It's awful. Um, did you learn a skill in 2020? Not particularly. Um, I suppose like doing my videos, you know, that's a skill in itself, I suppose. Um, what skill would you like to learn in 2021? Um, I would love to learn to sew, make like cushion covers. Um, I would love to learn how to make wicker baskets. Um, but obviously with the pandemic, I'm not sure if classes will be reopened, but we'll see. What good deed would you like to do in 2021? Um, I suppose like what we can do is, you know, keep with the, you know, necessary precautions, you know, wearing a face mask, staying indoors when possible, um, keeping our distance and, you know, in that sense we're helping keep people safe. Um, I mean, like, the only thing I do, like, I give £3 a month to the WWF, uh, the Ord Wild Wildlife Foundation, I give £3 a month for the Snow Leopards in the Himalayas, I've been doing that for three years now and I do hope to continue to do that. Um, it's quite cool, I get updates on how they use the money in, you know, ensuring the protection of uh, snow leopards and, um, yeah, I feel good for doing it. What country did you visit in 2020? I went to Germany in January um, before this pandemic started. I went with the girls and I had such an amazing time. I really enjoyed it and I do wish to go again. Um, and uh, what country would you like to visit in 2021? Either going to Germany again or if I was to go somewhere new I would quite like to go to Spain but with this pandemic I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Uh, what book did you enjoy reading in 2020? So my mum bought me this, I really wanted it and that was the Amp Middleton First Man In and then what book would you like to read? So she bought me, again I asked for it, um, she got me the Jason Fox Battle Scars book. They are from the SAS Who Dares Wins they are trained SAS um, military men and they talk about their experiences and um, like the way that they deal with life and the psychology behind it and I don't particularly you know follow the military but like the way that they have to deal with you know stress, anxiety, depression, how they have to control that so that they can make decisions so that they can continue each day I find that interesting and it helps me also to like use that training in my own life um, so yeah I find that quite fascinating um, is there something you look forward to in 2021 um, I have applied for an apprenticeship um, and I'm just waiting to hear back um, but if I do get that I'll be excited to start that it'll be learning how to do social media and marketing on a business side um, so yeah I think that'll be really cool and I'll enjoy that if I get it hopefully any new year's resolutions? Um, I'm gonna do that obvious be more healthy <laughs> I have I'm um, started buying bits. Hi Monty! Um, yeah, to be more healthy, drink more water, um, try and be more active. Any goals for 2021? I have personal goals. Goals for within myself, my own personal, um, growth. But I don't really have any goals um, because you, like I said next year is so unpredictable we just don't know what's going to be happening and I think it's very hard to make goals when there's so much uncertainty um, I have spiritual goals that I want to do for myself um, but yeah that's it really <laughs> and that is the tag so I just thought I'd show you 
my 2021 diary and calendar. So my diary is um, this one. It says help the bees, plant more trees, clean the seas. Um, I love something with a message and it's made from um, like recycled paper. Um, I've actually seen a t-shirt with this on it that I'm quite tempted to get. Um, but it's just your normal um, diary. So yeah, not much to put in it at the moment. Um, every year I get a diary and normally I have loads but this year I've barely written in my diary. Um, so maybe we'll have a bit more in here but who knows. And then for my calendar I got this one. That's what they all look like. Quite pretty. So it's your general calendar. My favourite one is this one. I really want this jacket. <laughs> and if I can find a skirt like that and then wear that. And even those sandals are quite cute. But I would wear that outfit. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I hope everyone has a really good 2021. Let's all work together to be safe and work in peace and unity. And um, let's help each other as well with our channels and growing that. Um, showing support and love. And yeah. Please do hit the subscribe button, the like button and leave a comment down below and um, yeah, if you have any um, ideas of what you would like to see on my channel in the new year, I'm looking for ideas for new video content, um, then yeah, just let me know in the comments down below and yeah, alright, I'll see you in the next one, bye!